Hello everyone, welcome back and uh, so let's start the next section for tours and destinations. So in the previous video we have finished up to here and then now starts with the tours destination. Um, so below this, so it's again a single row and three cards. Okay, with some uh, uh, some information here. So let's start with this part. So below this, let's add a comment. Tools information section. Okay, let's add a section. So section with the class called P4. Background nothing. So let's write one container and one row. So you have three cards. Uh, before that, we need one single column. So I write a single column. A single column. I write some H1. I'll paste it. And P with the class called lead. Uh, this is LRM10 tab. So you have uh, this part and keep it center. That is uh, uh, text line center. Text center. Not for the whole row. Let's add for this, this column text center. Okay. So below this we have uh, cards. Next row we have three cards. So below this another row. Uh, so call MD for we have a card. In the card we have image and the card body we have a text. So let's write an image image with the class called image slash um, image slash um, I think it's card card one dot jpg give the class called image fluid and it may give the class separately this is I think not destination card let's make uh, any the class destination card over tour images over okay let's take location image okay it's my own class name so location image and give the alt uh, i think fine and then you need to have this text uh, so 30 uh, dollars okay we will we'll do this uh, in a moment a card body we have this so uh, in that card body um, you have h3 Paris, uh, you can write a class called card title and P plus some text. I think it's, it's a lot in 30, I think. And you can give a class called uh, text uh, card uh, text. And you have a button that's just a small dark color button. Let's take a button the class uh, uh, BDN minus BDN minus danger. Let's take BTN minus SM. SM just say read, uh, not read more, it's a book now. Book now. Check it out. Yeah, I got it. And um, here, um, I need to have this uh, this thing, this uh, expenditure, how much is here. So, what I do is below the image, I write some h4 some dollar 300 rupees per person okay so no gap yep so it it it's come here but i want to make it here so i'll do a class here give the class called location price okay so location image location price so here i write a comment so dot location image i write a position to be relative and then dot location price uh, i'll give a position to be a absolute okay so let's keep this at right side so uh, uh, top top 20 pixels and the right 20 pixels and uh, you can give some nice background color and that is uh, transparent so here 
I add a background color, some greenish color. So RGBA 0 R G green more 250 and 0, 0.5. So you get this uh, is just 0 0.4. And let me give some padding. So padding some 10 pixels and 15 pixels. Okay, fine. And you can give more 0.5. Yeah, I need color white. Just a color white. Okay, so that's it. Looks good. And then the card I have uh, some box shadow. I'll do one thing for the card. I'll give a class called location card. It's a different card. Copy. So before all this, I write dot location card. I write a box shadow. Zero ten pixels. 10 pixels and black yeah got it and let's make some rounded little um, border radius some 10 pixels okay so here is not rounded but here is rounded okay looks good same like this okay and then you have Malaysia Bali and all other cards same like this so let's do that part so here um, column d4 is done let's copy this column d4 paste and paste so you have three so let's change the uh, let me give some margin top first for the row i'll give some margin top three okay and change the colors i mean images uh, malaysia and bali so this is malaysia i think it's card image two and this is Bali and card image 3 check it out yeah we have it and then next row we have a same like three cards so um, copy this entire row copy this and paste it so let's make some uh, margin top 4 so I write quickly this is 4 card 4 and this is card 5 and this is card uh, 6 so names Singapore Malaysia Indonesia so this is Singapore Malaysia Indonesia okay so let's check okay and I think it's more bad more margin top required margin top uh, 5 okay so just check toast destination you have three cards with this and this okay but little uh, rounded i want here this one that is actually price border radius some 10 pixels okay rounded fine uh, so this part is finished so lastly uh, we have a footer so footer is this one we have a nice again a background image with some wrapper with background color and then it's a four columns so let's start with this part so uh, below all this i write a comment main footer so i write a footer so with the class call main footer and inside i have to write a wrapper give the class called footer wrapper inside I write some uh, one container one row so call md4 no it's a call md3 vacations so h3 vacations let's write a p with the class called lead let's write lorem 3d tab check it out yeah you have something but i need to make a complete background image uh, like this so we have a classes like uh, main footer and footer wrapper back to here let's add a comment slash star so dot main footer i give a background image background just say url uh, white url dot dot slash dot dot slash images folder slash i think footer image um no repeats scroll 
center and I need to make a background size cover background size cover fine uh, inside I have to give some wrapper so dot footer wrapper so I'll give um, background color some transparent color RGBA 0.5 okay so let's keep a color white so let's say color white and um, fine that's it you can give a height 100 percent okay but let me give some space inside as a padding um, you can write for the container p5 or p4 more padding yeah looks good so margin top is required mm, margin top 4 okay fine so inside we have uh, this one information uh, is the next column copy this or else write call md3 I write some h3 information p we have adventures next uh, tours hotels you can make links also here and uh, destinations uh, inquiries and online booking and uh, spot bookings okay check it out so I got this I think it's background is more dark I think it's eight yep looks good and then um, but this is bigger text heading I think then it is not h3 let's make h2 h2 okay fine and right said we have experience uh, exactly copy the same let's write experience okay you want you can change all this text and right said you have address and uh, social media icons so next uh, call call md3 and here you have uh, h2 address so I have a paragraph tag so flat number 1471 and Jubilee Hills so let's take road number uh, road number 14 um, Jubilee Hills Hyderabad another paragraph um, Telangana India okay and you can write numbers and uh, yeah we have social media icons that is the next row and three columns so uh, or else I can write a division with a class called display flex and the flex uh, not flex justify content between and each icon the class FAB uh, Facebook Facebook F or Facebook uh, square you write and the text uh, primary and uh, FA minus some um, 2x okay next I have this is FA minus Twitter so Twitter I write text uh, info next I write FA minus um, Instagram it is text uh, danger okay so fine so we finish all this almost 459 lines okay uh, so we have finished all this and you can make a connection between uh, about and destinations and contacts okay I'm just leaving that for you so we made uh, let's let's recap again so this part actually the whole header inside we have to write navbar and this um, uh, landing page 
and with some animations I have given for this. This is again a carousel, but no indicators and no controls. And this is uh, again a row. It's a form, and this is uh, it's a nested grid system. And here we have a six column layout, half of, and this is a reverse of the first column. And then uh, so four cards, little uh, CSS extra added here. Uh, you can even add a zoom and all this. And next we have uh, three cards, and this is again a position concept of CSS. And then we have a nice footer with four columns. Okay, so so that's it. So enough for this video. And uh, from next video, we're gonna start JavaScript. Okay, so we're gonna start a JavaScript tutorials, uh, a complete JavaScript examples, and a complete JavaScript concept. We're gonna discuss in the next video onwards. So thank you so much for watching this, and thank you so much for all your support. And uh, please subscribe to our channel, and we'll meet in the next video soon. Thank you. Thank you.